Book distribution and miscellaneous instructions. We shall not sell a single copy to the store. Our principle should be to sell books retail in the kirtan, in our temple, or selling by going door to door, or individual persons. Not a single book should be sold to the stores. The store selling, they may organize, we don't mind. Srila Prabhupada letter to Brahmananda, September 15, 1968. For your final question, you are correct in your idea that leaflets, which are destined to be thrown upon the ground, should not contain pictures of Krishna, Jagannath, etc. Such leaflets may only be hung up for people to see. Srila Prabhupada letter to Jayapatak, 14th of February, 1969. The book distribution policy should be like this. Cash only. All books are to be sold cash on delivery, COD. Books can be returned for exchange of other books only for a period of up to one year. Householders can sell books and get 15% commission on the net income. The retail discount schedule will be as follows. 1 to 2 books, 33%. 3 to 24 books, 40%. 25 to 99 books, 42%. And 100 books and over, 50%. Wholesale rate. Srila Prabhupada letter to Bhagavan. July 7th, 1971. I am especially pleased by your proposal of producing many small leaflets and pamphlets to distribute widely to the public. Karandar has initiated this program, and his small pamphlets are very, very nice and to the standard, so you may also do like that. Srila Prabhupada letter to Bhagavan, January 11th, 1972. The enclosed newspaper story, Krishna Follower is Freed from Police Harassment, is just further testimony of the great victory made by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Chicago. I understand that Chicago area is the most lucrative place in the world for distribution of our books and that you have done very careful work in getting all permission. Therefore, this rumor that within a few years there will be police repression and people will have no more money to buy books and Sankirtan will stop is completely bogus. Whoever told you that is a rascal saying it in my name. I never said that. Rather, the Sankirtan movement will expand, continuing so long as we are sincere. When I came in the beginning, I began to expand it, and it is now going on, and there is no question of it stopping. Therefore, go on with your lifetime plans, making secure in distributing of books. There is no cessation. This movement is eternal. Srila Prabhupada letter to Govinda Das, 8th of May, 1974. I received one rumor that the Sankirtan parties in the U.S., would soon be stopped by political repression and lack of money by the people. Some so-called devotee was thinking like that, but you can assure all your men that I have great hope for Krishna consciousness in America more than any other place, and there is no question of repression provided we go on sincerely. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwara, 9th of May, 1974. Sankirtan is also a part of Vaishnavism. All our activities are a part of Vaishnavism. So Sankirtan should also be developed at Dallas. Srila Prabhupada letter to Jagadish, 10th of May, 1974. Your program of adding six more men to your party is approved by me. Yes, the advanced men can distribute the big books and the new men the smaller ones. Your entire program is approved by me. By the grace of Krishna, you can teach others at the temples to distribute the books and perform deity worship and distribute prasadam. You do this work with my full sanction. Srila Prabhupada, letter to Tripurari Das, 8th of August, 1974. I very much appreciate your report of Sarva Boma Prabhu, who distributed 138 hardbound books simply because of hearing about my letter. That is very, very nice. They are all very nice. Krishna will bless them. This boy, he immediately attempted, and Krishna immediately responded. So this is the success of your book distribution. So if our books are distributed nationwide, that is the success of our movement. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwar Das, 14th of September, 1974. This book selling is the real preaching of our cult. Especially when you sell Chaitanya Charitamrita and Srimad Bhagavatam, they will understand what we mean by reading these books. So you organize freely. You are incarnation of book distribution. So take the leadership and do the needful. Your bus program is a very nice idea, 
and I pray that by Krishna's grace you will have all success. Yes, you are correct that by distributing books, that income will be sufficient for all programs. Srila Prabhupada letter to Tripurari Das, 12th of November, 1974. Thank you very much for sending the book reviews. Send more if you can. These are very, very encouraging. I am keeping a collection of the re these reviews, and I show them to big, big scholars and professors when they come to see me. They are very impressed. Srila Prabhupada letter to Sasrut Maharaj, 15th of February, 1975. I am in due receipt of your letter dated November 4th, 1975 with the enclosed copies of the Yoga Library in Swedish language. The get-up is very nice, and I think they will sell very, very well. Just see what books we are publishing all over our society in all the languages. Where is the CIA message in our books that they are claiming? They are claiming that we are CIAs? But where is the CIA message in our books? Our books are simply on the basis of Krishna consciousness. What better service are we doing than publishing these books? Srila Prabhupada letter to Alavanath, 13th of November, 1975. The transcendental competition is nice. If Jayatirtha Prabhu defeats Tamal Krishna Maharaj, then Tamal will have heart failure. Go on selling books. My Guru Maharaj was very much anxious about selling books and preaching, so you are pleasing him by this bombastic flood of books all over the world. Thank you. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwar Das, 3rd of January, 1976. Regarding the nectar of instruction, why not distribute it to the common men? Every book is meant for everyone, but especially for the devotees. Please try to print a large number so that it can be distributed just like Sri Yusha Upanishad. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwar Das, 6th of February, 1976. Firstly, there is no need to print the Reservoir of Pleasure as if it were an excerpt from Dr. Judah's book. Furthermore, we can use some book review when it is favorable. Otherwise, reject it. Why should we print the Reservoir of Pleasure as if it were Dr. Judah's writing? Furthermore, you should not distribute Dr. Judah's book. We should not distribute anyone else's book except our own. Srila Prabhupada letter to Rameshwar Maharaj and Ranadir Das, 23rd of April, 1976.